guys, so I'm just filming an intro for this video. I've already filmed this video, but I am making a new intro because this video was originally going to be a Q&A, but I ended up talking for like 20 minutes about my stalker. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. Also, if you're new here, hi, I'm Beth. Hope you enjoy this video. Hope it teaches you a lesson about what to put online and what to be really cautious about putting online because some of these things I didn't even think of. But if you're not subscribed already, maybe subscribe, like it. You know, all that jazz and make me super happy. And I'll talk to you guys super soon. In like three seconds, so let's go. Mallory asked, explain your stalker. Oh my god. So, I had a stalker. I don't know if you can count this as a stalker, but I don't know what else you would uh, like describe it as. So if you know what you would like describe this as, let me know in the comments because I don't know. Basically... I got this really fucked, let me see if I can find it, I got this really fucked up email from like this man and I, I got a call from the police, god this is, this, I should just do a dedicated story time, oh my god I bet I'm not about to find it now because I deleted it because it scared me so much, god, why can't I find this, no one is going to believe me if I don't have receipt. Okay, I can't find the email, so I know that, like, half the people listening to this story will not, like, believe me, which is fine, you don't have to believe me. Your life, don't worry about it. So basically, I got this email, and it, like, wait, wait, I got a call from the police. When was this? You guys might remember a vlog when I went to London to watch the sunset. Sounds crazy, I know. But... Um, the day after that, um, I woke up to a voicemail from the police saying, Hi Bethany, this is so-and-so from the Wolverhampton de de Police Department. You're not in trouble or anything like that. Um, I just need to, I need you to give me a call regarding, like, um, a sensitive topic. I listened to the voicemail, it fucked me up, I was like, I am not calling the police back, like, I'm so scared. Then I got an email from this man, who, like, he told me, like, his life, like, it was fucked up. He told me, like, his life story. He was like, hi, Bethany, I just want to let you know, blah, 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 blah. And he had scanned through every single one of my videos, every single one of my tweets. He'd found my Facebook page looked on my Instagram, my vlog channel, he had literally figured out where my mom lives, where I currently live, like, like, where I live right now, what school I went to, where members of my family went to school, like, he figured out everywhere I went, and I was like, what the fuck, like, like, you have literally look through every single one of my videos pause the video on the exact so this man had literally gone through every single one of my videos pause the video at the exact moment in time he needed to then screenshotted it and zoomed in to like read things on the wall read things on fridges look at like engravements into the wall like brickwork like how much fucking time do you have on your hands I was like shit scared when I got this email, but I literally told no one. Like I didn't tell anybody because I thought, you know what, like I'm just going to scare other people. And then I was like, wait, hold up, like this might endanger other people. And I was like, oh my god, what the hell is going on? Like what is going on? Like, oh my god, I have a stalker, I don't know if that's the correct term. But like they found every detail of my life, where I went to school, when I went to school the like path I took home from school like how the fuck do you figure that out keep in mind this man in the email told me he was in his mid-30s and that he lived in London with his parents like what the fuck like what the hell and I sent him an email like do not email me again and he was like Bethany um I do not want to scare you I'm saying this for your safety but like, you know when you just read something and you know that someone is being like falsely nice? 
Like I eventually showed the email to somebody and they were like, no, like that is not right. Like he's saying that in a way to cover his tracks if like the police got involved. So it looks like he's being genuinely like caring and wanting to like solve a problem for me. When in actual reality he's just trying to scare the shit out of me and be like, I know where you live, bitch. Peace. Like, you know what I mean? He then replied, like, Bethany, I live in London. I would never make the trip down to come and see, like, your beautiful face. Whoa, whoa. I was like, <sighs> like, he had pictures of my garden, like, pictures of inside my apartment. What? Like, pictures of in my apartment, where I live right now. And those of you guys might be thinking, Beth, move. Like, one, I can't move. Because I have a, like, tenancy agreement. Two, it was such a ball like finding this apartment. And three, the place I live is really secure. So, I'm not, like, that worried that someone's going to break in. Like, have locks on all my windows that I lock all the time. I sometimes leave my door on the latch. But there's, like, a big, like, main front door that you, like, can't get in unless you have, like, an actual key. So, you yeah. know. Yeah. But then I got a call from the police. I literally said to the man, like, stop fucking emailing me, stop harassing me, leave me alone, stop watching my videos. Do not contact me again, or I will contact the police. My camera just, like, my memory card got full. Anyway, as I was saying, I got another call. No, no, no. I didn't get a call from the police. I got a call from my mom. And she was like, Beth, you need to call this number. The police have called me um, about you but they can't tell me what it's about um basically the police had gone to my mom's house because that was the address that they had on file for me uh because this was before i filled in like uh like tax stuff like you know like house tax like shit like that i forgot what it's called council tax before i filled that in so they knew i was living here so they went to my mom's address knocked on the door it was really late so my mom didn't answer the door and it was like a police officer and he called my mom. Obviously I wasn't there for the conversation. I don't know word for word, but he was like, hello, is this uh, Kelly Jordan? My mom was like, yes. Um, and he was like, hi, we're contacting you about your daughter, Bethany, is she there? And uh, my mom was like, no, she doesn't live here anymore. Um, can I ask what it's about? And he was like, no, sorry, miss. Uh, we can't tell you any information uh, as your daughter is not, um, <laughs> a minor anymore he basically said we can't tell you anything because your daughter is of a legal age she's not a minor anymore and my mom was like no like she's 16 she's still a minor because like the law says that if you're 18 you're classed as like a legal adult and my mom was like no she's what what come on then come on then why are you crying my mom was like no she's 16 like she's still a minor you could tell me like please tell me like what's going on she's my kid like please and he was like no i'm sorry I can't tell you anything, she's not a minor anymore. My mom was like, okay, here's her number. And then she called me and was like, Beth, call this number straight away. He'd given her his number. God, this is so confusing. I'm so bad at selling tourists, telling, I'm so bad at telling stories. So I called the number and he was like, hi Beth, um, we tried to get in contact with you a while ago regarding i'm not going to say the person's name regarding so and so because we had an email flag up on our system that was like a danger to you like they have like i don't know what it is but he was basically saying like it like flagged up as like a really dangerous email maybe they'd been tracking this guy because he had like previous offenses or something like that but it flagged up on their system that he'd emailed me something that was like not legal he emailed me, he, no, he called me on the phone, he was like, we were like talking, and he was like, uh, I just wanted to let you know that we have told him not to create any more contact with you, if he does, please let us know, he is not legally allowed to, uh, be like emailing you, blah blah blah, I don't know, oh, and he, he said, he contacted us to let us know he had emailed you. How fucking weird is that? You call the police to let them know you are sending threatening emails to somebody. Like, does that not sound like fucking, like, sociopath or, like, serial killer to you? Like, 
That sounds like a serial killer would do, like, right to the police, like, hello, I'm going to kill Barbara Sanders at 9.40pm on Tuesday the 27th of January, like, that is so fucking weird to me, the fact that he did that, and that scared me even more, and he was like, we don't want you to worry, he's confirmed that he won't be making contact with you, he won't be, like, physically seeing you, I was like, what? Like, this is so fucked up. And that's pretty much the story of my stalker. I don't know how I dragged it on for so long, but yeah. You guys wanted to hear it, so I'm telling it. So I wasn't planning on making a story time about this, but you guys like heavily, heavily requested this, so I thought, there you go, I'll talk about it. This wasn't gonna be like a dedicated story time, but I feel like it just filled up the entire video, so yeah. Also, I'm going to try and edit this as little as possible because I want this to just be like raw footage for you to watch. Because I feel like that is just like more honest. Also, I have really bad memories, so maybe this isn't in the right order. But like my previous story times, you can believe this if you want to. I know that story times are a thing that a lot of people do is like clickbait and just make stuff up. Personally, I have the imagination of like... A demented bat so I wouldn't be able to make stuff up also I can't get details I wish I had the emails on my phone if I have the emails if I can find them I'll put them on the screen at some point when I'm talking about it so you can like read the emails but it was really scary for me I've never had a situation like that before like knowing that there's someone out there that knows where I live that I don't know that seems kind of creepy fucks me up but I feel secure where I live and there's like cameras everywhere in my building, so yeah. But yeah, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, like it. Um, maybe tweet about it. I don't know. Let people know. Honestly, the moral of the story is be really, really careful about what you post online because this man was like looking at things on my mom's fridge that you saw in the background of videos for like a millisecond and like zooming into those and that fucks me up. Like I didn't even think about stuff like that. Like, ugh, like, please be careful what you're posting online. I don't want you guys to be in this situation. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed already and you think you might find me entertaining in the future, subscribe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know where the subscribe button is. Um, yeah, cool. I'll see you soon.